you idiot. Here's your look at new Super 7, the Ren and Stimpy show, Ren Hoak. Who doesn't love the violently psychotic chihuahua that is Ren Hook? Fun fact, he doesn't shake because he's scared or cold. He shakes because he's barely able to control his inexhaustible rage. You idiot! This seven inch scale, highly articulated Ren and Stimpy Ultimus figure Ren Hook features premium sculpting and decoration, interchangeable heads and hands, as well as a number of detailed accessories. Just before we get this review underway, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tape measure just to see how tall Ren Hook stands. Figure technically comes with three heads, and really, to be fair, this isn't the head that he comes out of the box with. Yet, I decided to go with the one that's a little saner than the rest. We'll go with moderately more crazier in a moment. I also did actually, by the way, grab this guy over at Entertainment Earth. So if you guys haven't had any luck finding these in the wild, they're currently stocked over at Entertainment Earth, and I can provide the link certainly down below in the video description. Uh, also, with the heads, it'll vary the height of the figure because this one does have the ears up, and there's one that actually does technically have the ears down. But based on, at least on this, uh, the figure stands about six inches in action, in fact, exactly six inches in height, or the figure's 15 and a half centimeters tall. Now, I'll tell you, one of the problems with a Ren and Stimpy line is choosing the accessories that are going to go along with these figures. I'm happy with that they came in clue with swappable heads. So Ren comes with, as you can see, a couple of different head sculpts we're going to pop on in a moment. But I kind of have to question some of the other things that they came included with, or specifically what Ren came included with. Uh, with, again, so much going on in the cartoon and Ren having various different looks throughout the series, I do think that maybe they skimped a bit when it came to the accessories to come in clue with the figure. The one I sort of have my head scratching the most about is the figure comes in clue with pork snacks. Accurate to the cartoon, yes, but I don't know if I would have necessarily had the figure included a plate of layered piggy faces, as you can see right there. The faces, to their credit, look good. And, you know, again, they're on top of a gray plate, the non-removable, by the way. But I don't know if there's anything I could really be able to do with this. It's not a case where necessarily if I take the defaulted hands of Ren, I can't clip them. I mean, I can have them holding the plate, but it's only going to off-kelter the figure's balancing. So I'm going to have to then compensate by bringing his feet just a little bit further back. And I don't know if I really would want to just have him on display with a plate of oinkers uh, with him. I think, again, I probably would have done something a little bit different when it comes to his accessories. The other things are fine. The other things are okay. I don't know if pork snacks would have been the first thing on my list of must-have things to come include with these figures. Yeah, a plate of a pig faces probably wouldn't have been the first thing. Let's gonna move that to the side. Uh, like I said, the figure does come bookend on either side of them, two swappable heads. We'll get more into that in a moment. Uh, the figure also comes included with a couple of hats. We're gonna start with this one first, the Fez hat. The Fez hat, as you can see, is molded here in a in a red plastic. Of course, it's got the little. Uh, what you call the little pom-pom that sticks out the top of it. It looks like it's actually been painted rather than a molded yellow plastic. The thing with any of these hats, though, is technically they do fit on any of these heads, even the one that has the, the big exaggerated face. The hat actually does, the Fez hat sticks on top of it. Sticking is not really the best word I would have wanted to use for that because in all the cases, you're literally just resting the Fez hat on top of the head. If you tilt the head at all, it's only just by these tiny little parts of hair that prevents the hat from falling off altogether. And again, you can have this displayed with this head, for example, but the same rule applies. It, it's actually really just resting on top of his head, which I guess is really the only way they could have done it. I wouldn't have wanted this very obnoxious groove in the top of the head where this would have plugged in place. And obviously, if they just fit this to the head, there's no way that they would be able to fill this all in in plastic and just leave a little opening that would have fat fit on top of these tiny little grass sprigs of hair that he has. So I guess this is the only option that they would have had available. It just doesn't sit on his head very well at all. The figure also comes included with, I like this at least, the rubber nipple hat. At one point, Ren and Stimpy are rubber nipple salesmen. Hilarity, I would say, ensues. Now, this case, actually, it's not softer plastic. It's got a little bit of give, but it's certainly not made of rubber necessarily. There is, at least in this case, a hole in the bottom of it. So, with any one of the heads, uh, you have to be careful because, of course, like this one right here, this longest of the three hairs, you want to make sure that that's tucked in there as well. 
and it sort of just rests on, on again, on all, with, all the three heads that the figure comes included with. This does a better job that you can tip it to the side, and the hair is sort of preventing the rubber nipple from falling off. <laughs> Might be the only time I've ever said rubber nipple in a figure review. So that does a pretty decent enough job. Can we do the blizzard test? We can do, well, somewhat the blizzard test. And again, that works with all three figures. So again, if you want to use the rubber nipple hat, you can use it with the head sculpt I'm using for at least right now. Or again, you can move it on either side and bookend it with, well, you can use it with either one of the heads bookending the figure right now. Ren also comes included. Let's just take that off right now. He comes with uh, gripping hands, obviously, to hold the plate of, of oinkers, but he does also come with a pair of relaxed hands. Now, these hands do have sort of a ledge on them. If you see it from the top or even see it from the bottom, it, there's just enough of a ledge that you can kind of have it resting with the plate. But again, it's going to off-kelter the figure, and he's going to fall forward because it's adding some extra weight on the front of the figure. Uh, he comes again, or you could also consider these just to be relaxed hands, too. Uh, changing out the hands, just going to go ahead and hold on to the forearm here. And one thing at least is good about these is that not only the joint that's on the end of the form, but also the joint on the end of the neck, the, the more crucial one, are part of the mold. It's not part of an individual peg system. So when it comes to rotating and or at least adding new hands or head, for example, uh, you can actually then just attach the hand. And what, what's rather interesting about these hands, it's actually a good thing I'm attaching it onto the forms like this, is that the hands are posed in such a way, let's go ahead and just get that completely on the ball joint, where it's actually got more of... I, I guess it's it's supposed to be like a cupping hand. I mean, it you know again like you can have it kind of displayed down like this. I guess it's more so if Ren is doing a maybe a hug. I guess you could have him hugging uh, Stimpy, or again I guess if you want to just give him a gesture, you could also do that as, as well. I think more so I'd be kind of displaying him. I think with the, just the defaulted hands, De defaulted hands are fine. Again, like when it comes to scratching my head, not that I want to be doing too much of that, it's going to be drawing blood. The figure also comes included with closed fists. Now, I don't know if necessarily I would have even used the plastic to create closed fists. These hands are fine, as well as the hands we've already had a look at. They're angled weirdly, but at least they're fine. I don't know if I would ever really decide to display Ren with closed fists. That's me. I'm a personal opinion of the person behind the camera here. Closed fist for me just doesn't work. And I would have used the plastic, I think, for better applications, better accessories than including these in the first place. That sort of then just leaves Ren now with the swappable heads. Now, again, you can kind of see what I mean here. The accessories chosen here by Super 7, I think there were better options available, for example. Ren doesn't do as well as Stimpy. Stimpy actually benefits from having better accessories, as we will see in a, in, a, in a short bit as we look at that figure in an upcoming review. As for, though, the other things that you figure comes included with, obviously, you can see right away he comes with some swappable heads. Uh, technically, this was the head that came out of the packaging with, but I decided instead to go with something a little bit more moderately sane here for Ren. Now, this one is the one that just has a big smile on his face, liking the look of that. And this one also does have the longer ears. The ears, by the way, are not articulated. There's no posability on any of these. In fact, even like these heads don't have any articulation on them whatsoever. But, uh, you know, again, for what it is, a, a nice, friendlier looking Ren. I would dare to say it would have probably involve me having to change one of these. I don't know if I really want to change any of them. But I really wish the figure could have come with an angrier head sculpt. Ren is always more angrier in the cartoon than he is happy. And while I like this head sculpt, and while I like this head sculpt, and yes, while I even like this head sculpt, I think an angrier head would also have been really good as well. Now, to be fair, really, they do already have the existing molds. It's nothing really to say that they can't just re-release a second version of Ren down the road that comes with an angrier head, just essentially keeping the body exactly the same. Head sculpt wise, well, really good on this one. Colors is nice and bright. The pink, the lighter pink for the iris, the darker pink for the pupil in the middle. Uh, I have a little bit of what seems to be just a little bit of a lighter, a uh, little bit of lighter paint applied to the end of his nose. It's so minor, I almost don't even notice it. One of the problems I've noticed also with Super 7 figures is the type of plastic that they use. It seems kind of, as I could best describe it, as gummy plastic. It's very soft kind of plastic, and generally a lot of times they're more slicker looking. They're not matte finished plastic. Uh, Ren and Snippy, I can kind of get more behind because even though it's uh, still a shinier plastic, I think it works w well. And I actually kind of think based on really some of the stuff I've looked at recently here on this channel, it it's one of the more matter plastics that they've used for this figure line. Now, again, like this is the defaulted, or I shouldn't even say that this was the defaulted head sculpt. This was the one I decided to go with. Now changing the heads, 
I don't think you'd have the worry necessarily that you're going to be breaking a ball joint. That's not going to be a problem. The bigger problem you're going to be facing, though, is just to, even just to remove the heads. They have looked as if they've added a little bit of lubrication on the end of the ball socket, but look how big that is. I couldn't even say you could reduce the sizing of that either. If you reduce the size, that, well, to be fair, actually, it is molded to the end of the neck after all. If they had just simply made it into a post and not necessarily a ball joint, I think you could have done exactly the same thing. Ball joint, though, granted, does give them a little bit more posability. So again, you can move it back and forth and up and down, but just means a lot more problems when it comes to trying to remove this. I did technically take the precautions of heating this prior to hitting the record because I definitely didn't want to have to struggle. And even now that it's cooled, I'm only now going back to struggling with this again. Taking the new head and doing our best to do this on camera, I'm going to just wiggle and po put it back onto the post. Now, this is the defaulted head that he would have started with out of the packaging. If you like the more crazier looking Wren, then I think this fits the bill a little bit better. Again, the, the different range of expressions that they've given him, at least it doesn't feel like we're getting, okay, same head, ears down, same head, ears up. This one is considerably different from the one that we looked at before. And you could even say like, this is just borderlining Wren now starting to snap. Big white teeth, as you can see, tops and bottoms. Again, like the sculpting on these are fantastic. This one does have the ears back, but again, like there's no articulation to speak of. Because I have removed the head and replaced it a couple of times, when I do put it back onto the ball post, it does seem to be a little bit more loose. Not loose to the point where it's gonna be flopping around, but it's definitely a little bit more considerably loose. Before we actually get to the other head sculpt, I'm just gonna quickly talk about his body here. Body-wise, it does definitely look like Ren short a little behind that he's got on the back here because the figure does have such a such a large large head too you're probably going to be wanting to get this guy on the shelf and then just allowancing for the the weight that he now has on the on the top of his body i kind of have to kind of lean ren forward if i lean him up he seems to be a little bit more off kilter he's doing actually a pretty job good job now if i lean him too far forward then that's when of course the figure is going to be falling forward you kind of have to put the head that you want to stick with and then when you get them on the shelf, you sort of have to compensate for that head being either bigger or a little bit smaller. Uh, the other head sculpt that he also comes included with is, let's go ahead and just pop this off right now. And again, you can, I don't know if you can, you probably can even tell the frustrations, the stress that I have trying, trying to remove these heads. And then this one being the more exaggerated, exaggerated of the three, we're going to go ahead and just get that onto the ball post. Again, I would really recommend heating these things up before you start putting them onto the ball joints. The first couple of times you do it, you're going to find, obviously, it's going to be a lot easier to take and change those heads out than the first time you do this out of the packaging. And this is, I would say, definitely the more happier of Wren's. This is one that either he's got money or, I don't know, he's done something dastardly. But he does have a big smile. He's got, obviously, the tongue sticking out of his mouth. I, just for the record, I wouldn't have changed any one of these heads for an angrier head. But I do think, like, Ren, Ren is consistently angry in this series, screaming to all levels of exaggerated features that I wish that maybe down the road we are going to be getting another version of Ren. Because I obviously make the most of the mold if you can anyway, Super 7. Give us an angry version of, head, of his head. This head sculpt is also really good, good as well. And I think I might even just, see that's the hard part, is now deciding which head I want to display him with. For a while, I was actually settled on displaying him with this one because it just looks so crazy. But I kind of really like this one also as well. This one, again, has the tongue that sticks out. You can see a lot more of the inside of his mouth. I don't know whether I would say that they've actually painted the inside of his mouth or the, the plastic likely was this color here. So it's probably more convinced that this is actually the inside and the bottom of his mouth all painted in red. Uh, just again, like nice looking figure. Nothing I really would have again changed on the head sculpts. And overall, like the quality of the plastic that they've used for it, even though many have complained that Super 7 are using kind of more of a gummier plastic, it's still present here for the Wren, but it's not a problem that I'm going to have any dealings with. He doesn't have any additional articulation like for his, in his elbows nor in his knees. So there's nothing really small wise in the way of joints that I'm going to have real problems with. If anything, I would say like the tops of his thighs are a little on the more looser side. Like this one thigh is loose. This one's not so bad. So that's going to cause a little more problems when it gets this guy to stand. But again, you just want to maybe compensate just a little bit. Yeah, you can stand him perfectly fine on his own. For the articulation on Ren, we're going to stick with this head for right now. The head is already established on a ball joint. So you can have the head looking up this way, down. And of course, you can also rock it back and forth as well. And yeah, you could technically rotate it all the way around. I don't know why you would really want to do that, but you can do that. He has sim simple peg systems on his shoulders. So his arms can come out. And again, you can rotate those arms back and forth. There's also rotation in the hands, uh, just sticking with, of course, these hands for right now. And simple, basic, simple articulation for the legs. They don't hinge out. 
they only really more so just swivel back and forth. That's really all you're going to be getting from the figure. But, you know, for what it is, I, again, I don't know if I would necessarily have added or requested additional articulation for this guy. He has the articulation where it counts. I think, if anything, adding any additional articulation to a figure that's so lean and thin like this would have only added more complications than what it was worth. I think for the figure, what it is needs only just to have the articulation in the shoulders and only really needs the articulation in the thighs. Doesn't need it in the knees. That would only cause problems, I think, down the road with the figure developing looseness. And while there is looseness in the tops of Ren Hoke's thighs, it's not going to be a problem, at least when it comes to standing this guy. Ren stands perfectly fine. Now, obviously, those strange-looking hands we looked at before are also there to help hold the plate of pork snacks if you want to have the figure displayed with it. Now, if I was already on the fence about having the pork plate included, then extra those, including those extra hands is also, I feel, to be a waste of plastic. I think the plastic used for both the hands and the plate of pork snacks could have probably been invested, redirected into something smarter, I think, for accessories instead. Now, with all the things that are going to be coming included with Stimpy, for example, Stimpy does at least make up for it, I think, with better accessories than what we get with Ren. But I think there's better choices that Super 7 could have made than giving us the accessories that they did. I do like at least the hats. The rubber nipple hat and the Fez, I think, are good choices when it comes to certainly displaying the figure. I'm not, again, sure which way I'm going to be displaying Ren. I do kind of like the crazier look, big expression, smile across his face. I really like this one as well leading me almost to believe I think I'm going to get a second Ren so I can have them displayed in two different ways. The problem when you get figures like this that have so, such good head sculpts to start off with, it's really hard just to choose one and leave the other two back in their plastic prison. But what do you guys think of the new Ren and Stimpy Ultimates Ren Hoke? Do you think this is a good looking figure? And is this a figure you'd like to pick up? And maybe even a bigger question, was Ren and Stimpy a cartoon that you liked watching back in the day? Might even be say, say something that you still watch to this day. Let me know down below in the comments section. Also, if you guys are interested and again, have not had any luck to find these now, these are now starting to show up in many online sites. I did happen to find this one over at Entertainment Earth. So again, if you guys are interested, I provide the link down below in the video description. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and certainly on board to see the Stimpy, then make sure if you haven't already done so that you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification. And like I said, we are going to be looking at the Ultimates Stimpy in an upcoming review. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.